My dad one time said, you know, when everybody else wanted to be Cowboys and Indians when they were little, Scott wanted to coach, or probably more realistic, I wanted to play pro ball. You know, we were Blacksburg kids, but uh, Virginia Tech was always a part of everybody's life that's here when you grow up here. My mom worked here for 45 years, my dad worked here, my stepfather worked here, and so forth. So, you know, we had a strong connection, you know, uh, with uh, Virginia Tech for, you know, my whole life, obviously. You know, when you're uh, your hometown, you kind of think of what else is out there, you know. I went to East Tennessee State with aspirations of trying to play baseball. I probably wasn't good enough to play at that level. I certainly wasn't good enough to play here at Tech. I wanted to be a pro baseball player, but uh, I, once I got to college, I figured out that probably wasn't going to be in my cards. And so uh, coaching was always that second hand. I could see myself wanting to coach. and But uh, I think, um, you know, coming back didn't become important to me until I got back, you know, and then I was like, well, you know, you appreciate things a little differently, you know, and um, it just so happened that a, a job opportunity came open for me to be here in the athletic department. And I worked in the equipment room for several years and uh, with Lester Carlin. And um, my thought process was if I could get back into the athletics, at least be somewhere around, maybe an opportunity would uh, spring up. I had no idea it would be this kind of an opportunity. And that was the year that they were gonna start softball. And to make a very long story short, uh, they had actually hired somebody to, get to, to take the program. He took the job and like three or four days later turned around and turned it down. And they were kind of in a struggle to make a hire. And uh, luckily uh, I'd spoken to, to Sharon McCloskey about being interested and in potentially catching on with the, the softball job. And uh, I thought I was going to be trying to hook up with an assistant position, but uh, they were needing somebody to take over the program. and. So if it wasn't for Sharon McCloskey and Dave Brain and Dave Brain giving me, um, uh, you know, that opportunity, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here today. It was kind of a crazy time. I mean, we were trying to order balls, bats, whatever we needed. You had to start a program that fall. And um, so, I, you know, my thing was just trying to get to get it up and running and seeing how competitive we could be as quickly as possible. And then the coolest part about it was, and I, was that there were so many kids that wanted to come to Virginia Tech. So I was able to go out and get some of the top kids in the state because, you know, that the, the opportunity wasn't there for them before to come to, to, to Blacksburg. And, um, you know, I was able to line up some pretty good kids pretty quickly. You know, I wasn't much older than the players then. And uh, I was probably, I think I was 26. I had some players who were like 21, 22, you know. I, I was with a friend out at the College World Series one time, and this was early in the early years, somewhere around 99 probably, actually. And, and uh, then my friend looked at me and she goes, you know, you're not very far from this. And I thought to myself, I was like, well, I know we can compete with some of these teams, but it's a little bit of a difference to get it to this level. And then, uh, but, it, but it also kind of makes you hungry when you think of those types of things. The girls make fun of me because I'm always talking about the 99 team, uh, which was 54 and 16. And, and that was, the, that was the, the first team that you looked at and you went, we, we can do something special here. You know, we, we, we can really compete at a high level. You know, and, and I think that 99 team was one that uh, that probably got things started. Obviously, 2007, 2008 ACC titles. And in, in fact, one of the, the things that happened in 2008 was um, in December we were we were called to um, to play the Team USA, and um, the opportunity kind of the way it played out and was, hey, do you want to come out? And I was kind of, you know, what can you do for us to be able to get for us to get out there? And, you know, I, I remember going up telling Jim Weaver about this, it's going to be on ESPN, it's a lot of excitement for us. He never hesitated, absolutely do it. Off the thumbs, this is going to do it! Virginia Tech, they win against Team USA, and it's all Angela Tincher. She throws a no-hitter. The one message I had for the girls were, was that year, um, it, it wants to take a look around, you know, the, take a look at the whole experience of that game, playing in Oklahoma City, playing in Hall of Fame Stadium, and I told the girls, I said, hey, look, I said, if you like what you're doing now, think about the, what this will be like, 
you know, in a, in a month and a half or whatever, when we take care of business and have an opportunity to come back. So to be able to come back and do that, I think the vision that the girls had and the excitement they had was a, um, helped have one of the best pitchers in the country, but I think they, they were hungry for it. It goes back to where I thought that vision was hungry. They were hungry for it. And uh, to be able to have that opportunity, we came up a little short on some, some W's out there, but the experience certainly was, it was incredible. And, um, and I think it shows where we can go with it and, and that we can do it again. I think success is measured in several different ways. I, I don't know that, um, you know, awards necessarily tell the story all the time. You know, you have good people that, that stay with you. And, and I think that helps a lot. Uh, a lot of people know X's and O's, you know. I mean, X's and O's are, it's not rocket science, it really isn't. But I think being able to create the environment and to maintain that is, is, a, is a big deal. I think we've been able to do that for the most part. I don't think we realize as coaches sometimes how much of an influence we are. I, you know, when we get, a, get the girls together uh, for alumni events, there's always you know, Coach Thomas, remember when Coach Thomas said this or said that, and I have no clue to what they're talking about, but it's things that stick with them. And and so I go back and I think sometimes, right after those events, I'm like, well, oh Lord, what have I said here in the last uh, couple of weeks that's, you know, maybe used against me in, for, in uh, future alumni events. But I, I think that it, it, it also tells me, you know, that they are listening, they are paying attention. But I think uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy getting them to know the girls and, and uh, their families. My kids have spent a lot of time at softball fields, you know, and um, I think you have to learn to balance it the best you can. I can't say that I've done it the best all the time. Um, I think that I've, over the last uh, several years, I kind of try to make some efforts when I can to, to do a better job of it, but it's not an easy thing. It's a lot of time away from home and uh, you try to include them the best you can. Uh, and uh, whether I'm doing a great job or not, I can't say that part, but, um, but it's, a, it's a tough balance. And, uh, and uh, some people do probably do a little better job than, than others on that, but I'm always working at it, that's for sure. I don't, you know, coaching is, is, a, is an evolving um, profession. I think the biggest thing is, is don't shut doors, keep doors open. Um, don't, and when you, especially when you're getting started, you know, for me is a great example, you know, you've got to open your own doors. And, um, you know, for me, it was taking a job in the equipment room. Well, who knew, you know? But I think sometimes I think the new coach, young coaches, they want, they want to step out and right into the, to the uh, uh, the big job right off the bat. It just, it's just not very um, uh, realistic. And I think it's, it's a matter of taking the baby steps, looking at every opportunity, making the most of every opportunity. And I think once you do that and you learn as you go along, um, I think you have a chance to, if you're open-minded to it, uh, you have a good chance of being successful. I mean, I, did I look at other things at one point in time? Yeah. Um, here and there, not necessarily since I've been a softball coach, but prior to that, you know, um, you know, opportunities to go somewhere. But the bottom line is, I'm so blessed to be here in Blacksburg and uh, raising my kids here, and you know, just uh, like I did.